Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another video. I don't know what is up with this event that is popping up in about 24 hours from now. I just saw the notification over my tournaments tab. So let's go together and see it. So look at this spider turn attack 23 hours, 32 minutes. I'm not sure why they didn't start this, by the way, with CBC. They might have something planned. And with the end of the timid fragment collection, so it, they usually end their um their fusions or fragment collections when the cvc starts so i think it ends today or tomorrow anyway they they seem to be giving away another hero through spider turn attack farming so why would they do this i'm not sure it's the first time that i've seen some sort of character acquisition when there's no fusion or fragment collection going through simply just doing one dungeon we usually have it through champion training or champion chase, which is summoning. And there's a legendary war at the end where people compete with each other. This one seems to be just uh, as a reward from what it seems. Just just do spiders then and you'll be able to get a rare champion. I don't think it will be the top reward for 100 uh, for the top 100, right? So if you're first place in your tournament, I don't think they'll give that. I think this will be a guaranteed reward. So why would Plarium, why would Raid be giving away a rare champion? So my speculation about this, we still don't have any info about this. So I'm just speculating. I just saw this, so I thought might as well make a video on it. And I thought, I, I saw the rare there and I thought, okay, why would they do this? Probably they'll be introducing another fusion coming in for this month as, as a way to relax a little bit from all, all the fusions and fragment collections that we had. And they'll introduce an epic as a fusion a new epic added into the game and that will be like a chill kind of event there are going to be different other events for more rares i'm guessing this is all guessing by the way and i hope i'm right that an a rare will be um, an epic will be coming into the game that will be through that way of uh, acquiring it so fusing together multiple rares that you'll be able to collect through tournaments um very interesting again uh what about what makes this rare any useful i'm not sure and Wait a minute, if if we go and check on uh, that guy, not, I'm not even sure what he is. So, Risk Arm, he used to be one part of a fusion in the past. He does have the fusion icon, though, in the Spider's Den picture. He's currently not in any guaranteed fusions, is he? Or or is, is he actually for lady mikage all right all right we're slowly uncovering what the deal is so they're just giving us one part of the rare needed for lady mikage so they introduced the champion training for tatsu that was cool that was definitely a plus if you really want to get ahead others and, and slowly pick up lady mikage now they introduce one of the rares required to actually make this epic so very happy about this i already have this guy but I'm probably going to run a few spiders just to get another copy. It's not that crazy to get the rares anyway. Just summon mystery shards. You can get them, but it's very random. So giving us a guaranteed way to get at least this one is cool. But I wonder what they'll do with the voids. Because the voids are also very difficult to acquire. All of them seem to be from um, void shards. Some of them I have already. So that's okay. But still, um, all right. Are they going to introduce more? Is this going to be something that it will be slowly throughout the remaining weeks before the end of the year? Because end of the year, Plarium has also promised that they'll be adding um, the new feature in PvE, which is supposed to be even bigger than Doom Tower ever was. Doom Tower was released in 2019. Hydra was released in 2021. So 2023, every two years, are they going to introduce something big? That might be it, guys. That might be it. So... 2023 we're gonna have something by the end of the year they want people to get lady mikage maybe by the end of the year so we'll have more stuff like that coming in until the end of the month hmm i wonder is is risk arm anything any good at all for any part of this game um i don't think so he's just a rare i, I forgot what what faction he was again yeah he definitely looks like a banner lord come on uh, so yeah, he's got a stun on the A1, nothing useful. A2 places a shield in the champion for two turns, uh, equal to 20% of their max health. This is um, this is alright. I mean, he protects himself. Three turn cooldown for an AOE. 
as a rare that's good you can give him like a stun set can do fun stuff for fraction wars and then places a counterattack buff on a target ally for two turns also places a 30 percent increased defense buff on all allies for two turns so he's one of the few champions in the game that has the ability to apply a counterattack buff it's this guy risk arm and from what i know there's only one more that can apply it to another ally not himself another ally is jizzo i don't think there's anybody else who can do this correct me if i'm wrong leave it down below in the comments but yeah the counter attack is is useful for some situations nowadays is mostly useful for i would say the hydra because you add buffs to a given target and that helps with the targeting of the head of mischief so that head of mischief gets to that target and steals your buffs or tries to steal the buffs if you have high resistance it won't so uh yeah very interesting so I, I guess it's just giving us ways to get Lady Mikage. That's maybe why the, it, he also has the red glow. Yeah, huge discovery right here. Anyway, guys, this was the video for uh, today. Make sure you go and pick up this rare if you want to get Lady Mikage. It's a good thing. Just pick it up, send it to the vault, and slowly start acquiring them. And eventually, you'll be able to get her. I, I'm, I wonder if they'll do something for the epics. Because I doubt they'll do just champion trainings for the legendaries. Uh, I didn't participate in this one for tatsu um probably i would do for kira i don't know but the epics i would love to find a way to get them like it's more accessible maybe do like a 20x 30x summoning that would be cool that has never been done before more rare events are probably going to come in the future especially for the voids which are more difficult for the majority of players that would be something that i would expect totally expect i want to get another copy of this guy because i'm not sacrificing the one that i have booked out and uh, when you see ascension stars there for my account it's it's champions that i want to slowly level up so uh, i want to see more rares coming in especially the voids I, definitely the epics but uh, i wouldn't count it out that they will introduce these through summoning events right so having a well something better than a 10x would be ideal right player so this was the video guys thank you all let me know down below on your thoughts on what's coming next hopefully by the end of the month we'll have some news on the new feature because it's already the mid of november so if something new is coming in it needs to be done all right it needs to be done um early december i would say i hope it's released but still no news maybe maybe the next test, test server cycle i don't know all right guys i'll see you in the next video see ya